The Chinese economy is thriving as a manufacturing powerhouse, and its products seem to be everywhere. The majority of tags, labels, and stickers on a variety of goods proclaim they are made in China. This leads us to the question: Why is everything made in China? What is the meaning of manufacturing industries? Manufacturing industries are those that engage in the transformation of goods, materials, or substances into new products. The transformational process can be physical, chemical, or mechanical. Manufacturers often have plants, mills, or factories that produce goods for public consumption. Machines and equipment are mostly used in the process of manufacturing, although in some cases products are manufactured by hand. An example of this would be baked goods, handcrafted jewelry, other handicrafts, and art. Let's look at how China became the manufacturing hub of the world. How was China's industrialization plan better than other countries? China compressed several centuries of Western and Japanese development into three decades. Its path to the industrialization has gone through three major phases. The first phase is from 1978 to 1988. This phase included establishing rural industries across China's vast countryside and small towns. These enterprises led to economic growth during the first 10 years of economic reform. The biggest beneficiaries were the 800 million farmers during this period. The second phase is from 1988 to 1998, the first industrial revolution. This phase featured mass production of labor-intensive products. During this period, China became the world's largest producer and exporter of textiles, cotton, furniture, and toys. The third phase is from 1998 to the present day. The second industrial revolution. This phase started with mass producing the means of mass production due to the expanding demand for intermediate goods. There was an increase in the consumption and production of coal, steel, cement, chemical fibers, machine tools, bridges, tunnels, ship, etc. 2.6 million miles of public roads were built including more than 70,000 miles of express highways. That is 46% more than in the US. Why is China the world's industry? Some may believe that the ubiquity of Chinese products is because of cheap labor, that eventually brings down the production cost. But there are various other reasons too. China, known as the manufacturing hub, due to the following reasons: lower wages. China is the most populous country with a population of approximately 1.38 billion. There is an abundant supply of cheap labor. Since the demand for low-wage labor is less than the supply of cheap labor, wages stay low. Moreover, China doesn't follow strict rules regarding child labor. The, the minimum hourly rate is one point five two dollars in Lyon. This cheap labor helps to produce bulk orders and help to accommodate even a sudden rise in demand. Business ecosystem. Industrial production of a country is widely dependent on the networks of suppliers, component manufacturers, distributors, and government agencies. Companies like Apple and Foxconn Technology Group benefits from China's supply chain efficiency, keeping high margin and low cost. Taxes. The export tax rebate policy was initiated in 1985 by China as a way to boost the competitiveness of its exports by abolishing double taxation on exported goods. The lower tax rate helps to keep the cost of production low, which helps the country to attract investors and companies looking to produce low-cost products. Currency. Some experts claim that China artificially depresses the value of its currency yuan to provide a nudge for its exports against similar products produced by other competitors. Currently, one yuan is equal to 0.14 dollar. What are the challenges China is facing? Rising factor costs. Most multinationals that produce labor-intensive goods like textiles and apparel are actively seeking to diversify beyond China to reduce cost and mitigate political and supply chain risk. Since other countries are ready to provide low factor cost, this causes a major competition to China. Rising consumer sophistication. By 2020, the income of more than half of China's urban households, calculated on a purchasing basis, will bring them into the upper middle class. This leads to a rise in demand for higher end products. Rising consumer expectations will require food and beverage players 
to improve their game on freshness and regulatory compliance areas where western producers are ahead of them heightened volatility the uncertain global economic environment since 2008 has complicated life for manufacturers everywhere in the steel industry for example the annual growth has reduced resulting from declining in the average profit margins volatility at such level makes planning difficult for china's manufacturers how can a country become a manufacturing hub many factors are required to become the world's next manufacturing hub countries with a stable political environment modern infrastructure and a compatible legal system are ideal a stagnant global economy and trade growth provides a vast opportunity for developing countries to flourish in manufacturing in the future the countries that currently possess or are investing in skills capital and infrastructure will dominate the global manufacturing which countries have the potential to become the world's next manufacturing hub thailand Economic stability, comparatively well-developed infrastructure have attracted a steady flow of financing to Thailand's manufacturing sector, resulting in one of the strongest manufacturing bases in the ASEAN region. The manufacturing sector employs 16% of the workforce in Thailand, which amounted to 9.3 million jobs for the workforce in 2016. Vietnam. Vietnam wages are half of that in China. Vietnam also has the advantage of being geographically close to China. Vietnam's stable political environment and infrastructure are advantages for manufacturing. The sportswear manufacturers added as a Nike have relocated manufacturing logistics from China to Vietnam. India. The Prime Minister of India launched the Make in India program to place the country on the world map as a manufacturing hub and give global recognition to the Indian economy. Several mobile phones, luxury and automobile brands among others have already established their manufacturing bases in the country. The worth of India's manufacturing industry is $403.23 billion. India is expected to become the fifth largest manufacturing country in the world by the end of the year 2020. Indonesia The manufacturing industry accounts for almost a quarter of its GDP. Indonesia's economy has been relatively stable compared to other countries in the region. Their manufacturing industry grew 5.04% in 2015, higher than the national economic growth rate of 4.79%. The laws and regulations are unclear and subject to interpretation from authorities which possess risk. The government is decentralized so authorities dispersed and many affect businesses. What is the China's current market scenario? China, the largest exporter of the world's production, sent 18% of its exports to the United States last year. Now, $34 billion worth of products is subject to a 25% Chinese tariff, forcing some businesses to expand their manufacturing and production outside China. China is arguably the most important manufacturer and industrial producer, as it sells more manufacturing goods than any other country in the world. China is also a world leader in many types of goods. Especially if you're looking to build custom products, you will save so much time and money by working with a manufacturer who specializes in your product category. China is also able to dominate a number of the following categories: electrical machinery, automobile parts, furniture, lighting, clothing, cases, handbags, and wallets. Can a country overthrow China and take away its crown? People wonder if China will lose its spot as the world's factory. as other emerging economies offering cheap labor dull China's competitive edge however the availability of cheap labor is just one of many factors that have kept the made in china label on so many products purchased by consumers around the world it will take more than low labor cost for emerging economies to set up a business ecosystem that can compete with china's for some time to come china will be the world factory with its low production costs huge labor pool vast talent base and business ecosystem